As president, it's not, it's not my business what religious color anybody wears. In ITT, in Concord, in RCN, in Summit Oil, in the bakeries, in the bookshop, in the presses. And so we, we employ people purely on merit. Round pegs in round holes, period. There are so many people who work for me whose hometown I don't even know. I don't even know them anyway. I don't have to know them. Because see, we want to be, ob want to be objective. But if I could do that in my own small business, I think Nigeria has every reason to expect from me a clear vision when it comes to the management of the affairs of the country as a whole. Quite obviously, we need to earn more foreign, for more foreign exchange. We shall therefore put in place policies that will broaden the foreign exchange earning capacity of the nation. We will pursue exports and local sources for industry. We shall aggressively pursue the implementation of the LNG project if the log jam on the gas project has not already been broken by this administration, this, by, this, by this current one. We shall maximize the nation's return from oil by turning over future investment to the private sector and by removing the complex structures which makes NMPC's accountability and assessment of efficiency almost impossible. You see, there are so many layers upon layers built on this simple thing, crude oil. I don't even know where it is oil or some mystery around it that is taking the money from the central bank. You see, I think we, we, we would demystify all these things. In my government, the, the daily export of crude will be published and the price at which it is sold. You see, the issue of the, the, the issue of planned implementation is simple. You see, you see, public things are not private. We have National Assembly now. They will do their job. They review the expenditure of government and will hold public hearing. We will no longer be hearing of monetary circulars from, from central bank without the bankers being told. The bankers will have to be involved. You see, like I said, every effort has been made in the past to shave people's head in their absence. It must stop. I mean, it, 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 it won't be allowed. I mean, the cumulative wisdom of all the bankers would have seen us out of the problem we have in this country today. But some people, they, they, they come from IMF or they come from World Bank, what, what do they know about Nigeria? You see, you see the, most, the most brilliant doctor in, in Norway might not have seen malaria in his life. So bringing him here and imposing him as a medical director is like sending everybody to, to the grave. You see, I think all that nonsense will, will, will stop. I rely on Nigerians to keep Nigeria running efficiently. And that, that's what it is. You see, there will be a few foreigners who will be recommended by our people, not those who will be imposed by some foreign authorities over us. We are an independent republic under God. Or aren't we?